everyone, Joel Anson here today. We're in Montreal, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Yes, guys, here outside. Mr. Puffs, Mr. Puffs to do their Mr. Puff eating contest. So this is a, I believe it's called a Lokomotif. I'm totally butchering the pronunciation. Anyway, it is a Greek originating fried dough. Um, the Mr. Puffs, I guess, is the first company to actually bring them to Canada and or North America. Um, but anyway, essentially it's kind of like, I'm gonna call it like a donut hole or kind of like, a, again, it's a fried dough. So fried dough, traditionally it is topped with honey and cinnamon, although you can get them topped with like Nutella, cinnamon sugar, basically anything you want. So, um, sounds really good. For this contest today, we are going to have five minutes, yes, five minutes for an all you can eat. Um, there is 10 contestants, the grand prize is $500, and I believe it's free food for a year. I don't live close to one. That being said, we're hoping for $500. Um, so five minutes, all you can eat. The most ever eaten in the past has been 62 uh, in the five minutes. Um, they are going to start you off with 30 to start, and then they'll bring you an additional 30 as you need. Um, so that's about it. You can actually pick the kind of like uh, of uh, Mr. Puff you want. Um, they said in their experience, the best is just the standard and that's what they like standardly are doing so I'm just gonna trust them I have never had one of these before but they sound really good so I'm gonna trust in that um, but yeah so kind of dense heavy fried doughs soaked in syrups and other sweet things again it sounds delicious it'll be interesting to eat but anyway, let's head in let's have someone to eat some food um, and that's about it guys you know it should be really fun I believe the same gentleman has won the last couple years um, but yeah anyway mr. puffs so uh, let's head on in I know there's over 30 locations this one is the st. Laurent location um, but yeah beautiful day let's have some fun eat some food wish us luck and let's get eat everyone here with mr. puffs they look really good so you know kind of like a little fried dough Looks really good. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food, guys. Désolé pour le masque qui va vraiment tomber quelques fois. Euh, C'est un honneur pour moi en passant d'être ici. Merci à Catherine de m'avoir invité. Cynthia aussi. Très gentil. C'est la première fois que je fais ça. L'animation du concours euh, du, du plus grand mangeur de pommes. J'ai hâte de voir ce que ça va donner. Je pense que ça va être excitant. On a des gros participants ici. On me dit à l'oreille qu'on a des solides compétiteurs. J'ai bien hâte de voir ça. Écoutez, sans plus tarder, je sais pas avoir de le voir, donc j'arrête de jaser, je vous explique les règlements et par la suite, ça part. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Oui! Go! Oh, ça marche. Mesdames, Messieurs, grâce à ce merveilleux cadeau que j'ai juste ici, nous avons 5 minutes pour les participants, pour manger les pofs. Les pofs proviennent d'une boîte de 50, ils ont été comptés précisément. Les membres de l'équipe, Mr. Puff, seront les juges et s'assureront qu'il n'y aura pas de tricherie. S'il y a de la tricherie, évidemment, vous êtes disqualifié. Les Puffs doivent être avalés. Si jamais ils sont manchés et recrachés, évidemment, c'est le compte et il sera ignoré. Wow, c'est excès. On continue, on poursuit. Évidemment, ça peut arriver, on espère que ça arrivera pas, mais si jamais, si jamais pardon, vous avez besoin de déclarer parfait, on lève la main pendant 10 secondes et vous pourrez quitter la compétition. Vous avez bien sûr des bouteilles d'or à disposition, messieurs, pour pouvoir vous aider à digérer le tout. <rire> si jamais vous avez besoin de plus d'eau, on s'occupe de vous, vous n'en manquez pas. Et, mesdames, messieurs, la personne qui gagnera le concours, se méritera un prix de 500 dollars et pas bien, pas bien, 500 dollars et un an de Mr. Pop gratuit. Wow! Honnêtement, yeah! même moi j'ai envie de participer, mais je pense qu'aujourd'hui je suis content d'être derrière le micro et non derrière la table. Yeah. Donc sans plus tarder, mesdames et messieurs, est-ce qu'on est prêts? Non. On n'est pas prêts? Non? Jamais. Écoutez, ça va bien se passer, je suis convaincu. J'ai hâte de vous voir compétitionner, messieurs. We have someone from Ontario here. I heard you're a beast. I heard you're a professional. I'm really excited to see you performing. I've, uh, I've been called worse, but I do get to do quite a bit of eating. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is going to be very exciting. We're happy to have you here. Thank I'm Vince, by the way. I know it's been in French, but I have some English uh, talents, if anything. Nice you let to me meet know, you. Right? Merci. Thank you. All right, mesdames, messieurs. Vous comptez avec moi, on vous décompte de 5, on y va dans 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, c'est parti!
Hey everyone, welcome to Zudu. Today we're here at Mr. Puffs in Montreal, Quebec, Canada for their Mr. Puffs eating contest. So like I said, these are fried dough balls. However, they are very, very different than what I'm used to. Again, I'm used to something more like a donut and that's what I thought they were gonna be like. So what they're actually like is it's basically hollow on the inside, but that outside is a very firm, crispy, not crispy, but like tough, chewy kind of outside. Um, if this makes sense, I think it's probably like pure gluten basically. Um, so deep fried balls are basically pure gluten. So really tough, uh, chewy outside, soft, basically non-existent hollow center. Um, so I didn't really know what to expect, never had one prior to this, so definitely my first time having one. Um, but they weren't, weren't bad, I mean these again were the basic, most basic ones. They actually um, only had these like I guess like in a sugar dip or however they do it. Um, whereas again you could have more sauces and I think more moisture would have been a good idea. So I didn't really have any strategy for this, I just figured I'd be able to eat them. Again, I was thinking it'd be actually more like a donut, so like soft and, and meltable, but these did not melt at all in the water, um, at least like in the chewing, so I had to kind of rip them into little pieces. Um, the other one of the other contestants, the gentleman who won the last few years, he had therm multiple thermoses of hot water, which he was just dumping on them and the, letting you know the water kind of soak into the dough, uh, break that down a bit. So I think that's a good strategy. <laughs> There was definitely some miscommunication because uh, I don't speak French and all this was uh, kind of presented in the French language. So definitely stay to the end of the video to talk through where a lot of this, some miscommunication and kind of some funny bits came up. Um, but essentially, um, they I was told we we're gonna start with 30. And so if this box was 30 in front of me and the record previously was like 60, I th was looking at this box saying, oh my gosh, well like it's, we're almost, we're halfway through the contest and I'm only at 30, like this is not good. Um, then they brought me like another little container, which I, then I figured it might be, maybe had 10, cause obviously it had less than 30 as it was uh, much smaller than this first box I had. <laughs> By this point, again, me thinking that this first box I had was 30, the second box I had was probably 10, I was freaking out. So I was uh, starting to panic a little bit as, you know, I figured maybe this box would have been 50 if again it was 30 and 10 and 10. So I was just like trying to give it my all. I was going to absolutely max speed. Um, definitely pouring the water on it helped. So I'm glad I used that other gentleman's uh, technique or strategy as it helped dramatically. Um, but overall, that's kind of my thoughts going through this contest. Let's get into what actually happened and let's see what happens. We have
well, that's about it. You know, it was, uh, it was a pretty fun contest. It was a lot tougher than I thought. Eating the puffs, although they were very like light and airy on the inside, um, the crust on them, like the fried dough was pretty, uh, pretty like it had a bit of a texture to it for sure so I kind of like was you know playing around with that trying to figure out how to eat these the quickest possible I mean, like I said huge thanks to all the staff there guys cool experience that was kind of the background um, I was literally giving it like a hundred percent there guys like 100 110 percent um, I mean I was exhausted after those last few minutes uh, just because I was again trying to push um, didn't realize that again it was starting with 60 so yeah but like I said guys till next time just happy to have you're happy eating. And that's about it, guys. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. So, until next time. Love y'all. Alright, everyone. So, here we are with the donuts, or the not donuts. Here we are with the Mr. Puff. So, if you see, there's actually no right and no right turns on a red light here in Montreal so that's something I'm definitely gonna have to remember and definitely get used to uh, again a beautiful evening we have this sun setting I need to focus on driving and uh, yeah so no right on red lights in Montreal Quebec all right everyone and we are in Montreal Montreal Quebec Quebec Quebec, Quebec which is the only first or the only province with French as the first language in Canada um, so all the signs are in French um, while being here in Montreal which is the main city most people do speak English um, in many other parts of the province that might not be the case so it's very interesting kind of be here they do have some different rules you know of course you see signs and business names in French but even some business names um, you know which you might be familiar with in the rest of Canada such as like the Royal Bank of Canada here is very much um, like it's in it's pronounced in French I don't I can't think of the word but uh, you know like Scotia Bank is Banku you know whatever Scotia excuse my pronunciation um, lots of history here, very old, lots of culture, very multicultural and diverse. But yeah, we'll probably see a little bit as we drive through this area. So some of the downtown sites, kind of funny. Again, I'm sitting at a red light and I can't turn right on it because you can't turn right at lights in Montreal. So I gotta wait for the green, which is kind of an interesting experience, but at least I remembered it. Because I, uh, I definitely, my impulse is not to, uh, not to do it. And then there's this straight green which I think I gotta wait for the uh, the normal green, I think. There you go, now I got a normal green. Although now we got the people crossing. Yeah, you're good, I'm not gonna hit you. There we go. Anyway, guys, Montreal, Montreal. It is a very different place. A lot of people describe it more like a European place. Um, there's some big, beautiful buildings. Uh, like more like Europe and European rather than like Canadian and I definitely um, While I've never been to Europe. I do agree. The culture is extraordinarily different um, I will tell you about a very funny story about the first time I was in Montreal, Quebec uh, Which just to exemplify of how different um, of a place it is. It's, it's quite um, liberal it is, and, and I don't just mean like politically, but just societally. They're very, uh, very f kind of a free people, and yeah, yeah. So Montreal is surrounded, by, well, not really surrounded, but it's, uh, you know, I'll use the term surrounded by water. Hence, where a lot of like the uh, history of it comes from, um, you know, attached to like the St. Lawrence, St. Lawrence River, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, St. Lawrence River. Um, so it's a quite a, like an active port. Um, obviously, we're in a little bit of traffic right now, but we'll get through that. And if we look back there, we can kind of see the city, some of the cityscapes. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool.